Unlike online search engines like Google, the library has different searching systems for different types of resources. In this video, we'll be looking at one of the library's databases, Canadian Newsstream. Instead of starting in OneSearch, we often recommend students start in a database, especially if they're in the beginning stages of their research and haven't fully decided upon a scope or focus for their assignment. A full list of the library's databases can be found in the Articles and Databases tab. If you click on the Databases by Subject option, you'll see Canadian News Stream is the fourth option in the popular databases box on the left of the screen. Canadian Newsstream is a database that contains full-text access to British Columbian and Canadian newspapers, including small regional newspapers, major daily city papers, and the Globe and Mail and National Post. It is a great starting point for a research project requiring the use of newspaper articles or Canadian content. To connect to the database, click on the name of the database. If you're off campus, you'll be asked to log in at this point before you can proceed to the database. On this initial page, you can enter your keywords or phrases right away and then hit search and see what results you get. You can also set some limits on this initial page, including limiting to only full text articles, setting a date range, or searching for a specific source or document type. As you'll see, these limiting options are also available on your results page. Let's say you're looking for newspaper articles about Canada and the COVID-19 pandemic. When we search in the library's databases, it's important to remember to use only keywords or phrases, not full sentences or questions. So I'll try entering Canada into the first search box and COVID-19 into the second search box. If you want to add more search terms, you can use the add a row button. Before I click search, I'll change this drop down menu option from anywhere except full text to anywhere. This will make sure that we're searching through the full text of the database. Then I'll hit search. I see that I have tens of thousands of results. I can limit and display my results in several ways. I can sort my results by most recent first, and I can limit to only full text articles. I can also check my source types and limit to a particular type, like only newspaper articles. Additionally, I can set my publication date. You'll see that I have results back to 2007, which is a bit strange since this virus was only discovered in late 2019. I'm going to update my limits to search for only newspaper articles from 2019 to 2020 and see what my results list looks like. At this point, I still have over 30,000 results. I can start skimming through my list to see if there are results that will work for my assignment. I can also decide to add an additional term to further narrow my search. I'm going to try adding British Columbia to my results to see if I can find more local resources. I'll click on Modify Search and Add a Row. I've added the search term British Columbia or BC. I put British Columbia in quotation marks to keep these words together and added or BC to widen my search. I'll change this from anywhere except full text to anywhere and then hit search. When I'm taken back to my results list, my newspaper limiter has been removed, so I'm going to add that in again. And now I'm down to just over 4,000 results. At this point, you can look through the list for an article, or you can continue to modify your search. The Douglas College Library has millions of resources for you to use for your Douglas College courses, many of which you can access online from your home. Please check out our videos and tutorials for more detailed instructions or contact a librarian for help.